just want you guys to get a look at what I'm getting to see this morning. <clears throat> On my way into Darcy, um, and it's super rural out here where uh, Darcy is at, and I don't know exactly how good a shot you're getting because it's, uh, I'm trying to drive, but wow. Today I get to train with four of the legends, honestly. So I'm starting off with Cecil Birch, uh, which is gonna be amazing. Um, uh, surviving the knockout game. And then Greg Elifritz, I'm gonna train with some with the Gorilla Fritz on escaping common restraints. And then I'm going to um, uh, sit under Chuck Haggard, the legendary lawman. Uh, his class on between a harsh word and a gun. And then Spencer Keepers is, has a class on the evolution of AIWB and centerline carry, which I'm pretty excited about. So it's going to be a great day. I'm, I'm stoked to train today. Uh, I'm going to shoot the pistol match today. Um, hopefully I shoot well. And I've been, I've been working my dry fire like crazy. And man, hopefully that, that gives me a good result. Then uh, of those who shoot it well, then there'll be a shoot off to determine the top 16. Uh, I don't know if I'm in that group in this uh, a talented a field. But uh, man, we're gonna have some fun today. It's, uh, it's time to train, day two, TACCON. And uh, dude, man, one of the problems out here, and it's not the end of the world, but they get skeeters. And wow, that's why they get mosquitoes right there, <laughs> is because uh, it's kind of a bog. It's kind of a swamp out here. Um, it's a good thing everything, everyone's armed because I feel like otherwise, um, I think Jason Voorhees lives out there and I think he would murder us all. But, Thankfully, everybody here is armed, and so we don't have that problem. Nobody is going to get murdered. You can see as we get closer, I think they, they use that uh, helicopter fuselage when they're doing high-speed uh, rappelling stuff out of it, you know, like uh, tier one operator dudes. And then over there is the uh, the fuselage that they uh, run for training too. Super cool. Look at this. Look at this. Guys, you got to check it out. Hanging out with Craig Douglas, Cecil Birch. We're gonna have a little bit of a, uh, a little knockout game survival. You get to beat me up, Cecil. Don't beat me up. I don't beat anybody up. <laughs> don't he make me cry. beats me up. Craig will beat us up. Emotionally and mentally. I beat Cecil up emotionally. Emotionally? All the time. Cecil is. It's always an emotional. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> My Cecil. ego can never get out of control as long as this guy's yeah. around. Now, I'm gonna say, I'm pretty excited, man. Here we are, eight o'clock in the morning, and look, man, we got a crowd sitting here that wants to take this class. I know, I keep afraid that they, uh, that, that once they realize it's actually me teaching, they're all gonna leave. That's, so that's <laughs> like, what ah. Oh, wait, I thought, I thought this was Chuck Agger's class. <laughs> I thought this was Elephant's legendary lawman. Legendary lawman. Man, if those elephants, anybody but Cecil. I, I'm gonna take his ex escaping restraints That's class. That's a good at class. 10. It's really fun. It's actually a really good class. Yeah, I'm gonna do that at yeah. 10. So, how many times? How many years have you been Cecil at at Tacklin? Sixth. How about you, Craig? Ah. Uh, 13th. 13th. What's, it's my first, so I still got new guy smell all over me. So <laughs> I'm gonna put this away so we can train, man. It should be a good morning. Is there any space between his arms and his face? Do it four or five times and then switch. But you know, help your partner. Make sure he's doing everything correct. Because sometimes we think we're oh I'm awesome, I'm doing everything correct, and you are messing up everything. All right, I just finished shooting the qualification shoot, the the pistol match. Um, so it's a 40 round match and from ranges from three to 15 yards, there was a reload in there. There was some kneeling shooting in there. Uh, you can see only two shots to the head here and uh, the rest to the body. And I was inside time, no problem. I got everything done that I needed to. Even did my reload out of the pocket and did all right. So that's 200 out of 200 and they're gonna have a shoot off later. Like I said uh, earlier in this that, gosh, I don't know if I'm um, gonna be in the top, top group, but you know, 200 out of 200, not bad. We are gonna be breaking uh, duct tape and zip ties, you will all likely have some little abrasions on your wrist, maybe even a little cutting or bruising, depending on how um, vigorous you do this and how, what type of restraint you're using. So I'm giving you fair warning, if you bleed easily, bruise easily, don't do anything that's going to harm you. The, you know, this, none of these techniques are gonna hurt you in any way, but you might have a little bit of bruising on your wrist. So I'm just giving you that fair warning. <laughs> we have to try it. I got really hairy wrists, but you know, what the heck, right? So again, if you're here. 
He's good. The, the tearing is going to be harder in front, or, and in back, if they cross your wrist, um, it's going to be a little bit harder to get out. Play. All right, all right, she's got it. She's got the 55s on. Good job. Look at that, easy peasy. Oh yeah, I'm going. We're going up. Yeah, you're yeah, like that was too easy. I want to go up. Yeah, that was. <laughs> okay, so now we're up to 75 pounds. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. Okay. Yeah, that hurts. Once but, again, easy peasy. Out. She's completely out. Hurts a little bit. It does. It does. You feel it, but who cares? I mean, the... nice. And that, was, that was a 75 pound tie. I did. I, I did the, the, yeah, the light. All right, quick lunch break thoughts, man. I'm uh, I'm catching a bunch of sun, so and it's it's overcast, so I'm, I'm getting burned a little bit. You can see that. I need to get some sunblock on. Uh, morning classes, um, uh, Cecil Birch and uh, surviving the knockout game. Great, basic standing, grappling stuff, fantastic stuff. Enjoyed that immensely. Uh, shot my pistol qual as well and um, did well. Shot well enough to, to be in the shootout. Um, and then Greg Elifritz, uh, his escaping restraints, just seeing that it's doable, you know, and then doing it yourself and all that stuff. Really, really good stuff. Thing that I'm noticing among all the instructors is humbleness, humility, um, approachableness, friendliness, no knife hands, nobody, you know, getting big shot theory or any of that stuff. Just a great, approachable, fun group of people. So, so uh, they've actually done medical studies. No, no additional bronchial con uh, constriction. Back in the day, they worried about, oh, it's going to like close off the breathing tubes. It does the opposite; it opens it all up. Um, so it doesn't pose an additional risk to asthmatics. No, no, not at all. You heard it. Day two. Wow. Um, man, another great day. Started off with uh, Cecil Birch and um, Craig Douglas doing a little bit of surviving the knockout game, which which basically was standing grappling. Um, was really good. I'm mean, basic introduction to standing grappling. wasn't um, you know a real high level you know hard banging class or anything, but but a really good introduction for folks and got to to enjoy that. It's always good sitting under Cecil's teaching. He I mean he's fantastic. If ever you get a chance to train under those guys, do it. Um, shot my pistol match. Um, everybody shot it. It's a, a 40 round uh, match and uh, shot okay. I, I, I mean, I'm going to be in the shoot off tomorrow morning. Um, honestly, with the, the caliber of guys that are shooting, I, I don't think I'll go very far from there. But, um, but I shot just fine, got my hit, uh, every hit I needed to get, so that was good. Um, let's see, uh, Greg Elifritz, uh, his escaping restraints class. Not something that I find that I'm gonna use a lot, but uh, I do feel like it was good information and, and good to have. So we'll have some videos uh, definitely coming in about that. You, you've probably already seen some of it. Um, let's see, the afternoon, man, Chuck Haggard, the legendary lawman talking about um, OC and the, uh, the middle ground between a harsh word and a gun. Um, just filled with good information about the different kinds of, uh, of chemical sprays what they're worth, why you use them, how you use them, when you use them. Um, I mean, stuff that I mostly knew, but there were still a couple of tidbits in there that I was like, really, wow. Uh, again, biggest one that I got him to, uh, that, that, that uh, I got on camera, you, I think you might've seen it, but um, that uh, uh, OC spray has, has no negative impact on asthmatics. That's a huge deal. Um, and then, Finish the day with uh, Spencer Keeper's AIWB class. Um, a classroom portion, different holsters, what to look for, how to look for a great AIWB. And, and I'm an AIWB guy, so, um, and, and I love Spencer. Man, I can't wait. He's coming to Phoenix in Arizona in October. I'm hosting him in Phoenix um, for a, um, a Fundamentals of Pistol class and for an AIWB skills class. Um, can't wait to train with him. Man, I can't wait to have him on the line uh, and be a student. So. Oh, what a day. I'm going to head back to the room, freshen up a little bit, uh, download video to get you guys uh, what you're uh, looking for and so that you can come along and have some fun and then uh, have dinner with some friends and relax a little bit and get to bed early tonight. I got to bed a little bit late last night, uh, so I'm going to get to bed early because tomorrow is another crazy, crazy busy day. Um, tomorrow morning is uh, Caleb Causey's Tactical Combat Casualty Care. Uh, you know, uh, treating gunshot wounds and stuff like that. I'm really excited about that. I, you guys know that I believe that um, emergency medical care uh, is important. And then uh, shoot the um, uh, the pistol match, the the shoot off. 
And then uh, in the afternoon, oh gosh, man, memory fails me exactly what I'm doing in the afternoon, but I know there's a couple of more incredible classes. I don't think I'm gonna shoot any other than the, um, uh, the, the pistol match, but a couple of other great ones I know as well. I just gotta see exactly what they are. Anyways, um, man, great day of training. I'm cooked, but this is, this is why you come and do this kind of stuff. I hope you join me at some point.